Hey guys, Mr. Johnston here. Today I'm going to take you real quickly through how to uh, get the virtual world's stars under movement. So I'm going to go ahead and go to uh, Robot C. So go ahead and open that up. And you're going to say uh, new file, for instance. We can start there. And always check under Robot. Make sure that the platform type is set to uh, VEX 2.0 Cortex and the uh, language down here has a check mark for natural language PLTW and if it's already selected don't check it or don't click it because it'll uncheck it okay so make sure you leave it there also you're going to go under compiler target and select virtual worlds if you don't see virtual worlds listed there then uh, let me know and I'll give you uh, I'll help you out with that but uh, you probably just need to add the license to the computer it's not that big a deal so just let me know so once we have virtual worlds selected I'm going to go ahead and just download this blank robot or this blank code to the robot. And uh, if you want your progress saved, then you're going to create an account, a local account. Uh, if you have one of these uh, virtual worlds logins or if you want to try and create one, you're, you're more than welcome to do that. And then that'll follow you around wherever you go because it's online. But I would say just use login locally. Now I'm going to just log in as a guest for me. Okay, the first thing I want to check is I, I want to use the uh, the square bot. Okay, I'm just going to use the square bot. You can use the claw bot, the swerve bot, any of these, okay? But I'm going to use the square bot. And so once it's selected, then that's going to be the robot that you're using. I'll go under the movement tab here at the top. And then uh, the very first one I'm going to do is basketball drills. Uh, and then click start activity. Okay, now here's the thing, you, you have some really great resources available to you. Uh, you have the sample programs, and, and so I'm going to leave this uh, uh, little window with the robot on the field, uh, I'm going to leave that open, and then I'm going to go back here to the Robot C uh, window and I'm going to go to uh, File Open Sample Program, okay, and if you see different folders, then you're probably using, uh, you, you got to go under robot and make sure you're on the right platform type, okay? All right, so then basic movement, and I'm going to say moving forward, okay? And you'll notice up here at the top, for motor and sensor setup, okay, it's, show, it's showing the standard model of the square bot, okay? And all, it's all you had to do is, if you want to do this yourself, all you have to do is open motors and sensor setup, go under standard models, and then select one of the standard configurations, okay? And you can see it add, uh, does everything for you. It adds a bunch of stuff you, you probably have never even used yet, okay? So it's all in there. All right, and then click OK. All right, next thing is all this green stuff is just notes, all right? And, you know, if you want to get rid of that to make it easier for yourself, you go ahead, okay? Those are just notes, all right? This program says it's going to wait two seconds. I don't want it to wait two seconds. I want it to jump right in, get going. Yeah, as soon as the program starts, it's going to say motor, right motor equals 127. That's setting the full power for that motor. Okay, and actually I don't need to delete that because it's telling us, the, the notes are telling us what's happening. So that's kind of good. And then it's going to wait for three seconds. That's going to let the code run for three seconds. So uh, you have to have wait time, okay? You can't travel a distance. You have to have speed and time. All right, you can't you can't just have speed and then no time. You wouldn't you wouldn't actually go anywhere. All right, so I'm gonna say change it to two seconds because I think that's all I need, and then click download to robot. And here we go. And one two seconds. There we go. And then I need to go backward two seconds. So. Look, this is where copy and paste is your friend. Okay, you're gonna. I'm just gonna do all of that. Say Control C, and then Control V will paste it. And if I went positive for two seconds, then I want to go negative for two seconds. Download it to the robot. I'm gonna click Reset, and then play. So forward for two seconds, reverse for two seconds. Perfect. Okay, now it looks like they're almost double the distance, so it's probably four seconds. It's probably from there, it's two seconds, for, so four seconds, and then uh, six seconds, probably. Okay, so then look, I can copy this whole thing, okay, 
Control C. Control V. All right, change this to four seconds. And change this to four seconds. All right, and then I already have it copied, so all I gotta do is Control V. Change this right here to six seconds, and this right here to six seconds. And that's it, okay? So then I'm gonna give it a try and see how it goes, and then I might need to make some adjustments, but really that's all I gotta do. So let's push play. There you go. And, uh-oh. Okay, hmm, so I wonder what happened here. Uh, let's see. Maybe it needs to be three seconds up here. Uh, let's see, let's change it to three. Download. And really, so this is really all you gotta do is uh, just trial and error. So three seconds. And then it's gonna go four seconds. So good so far. And then it's gonna go six seconds. And I think we're successful. There you go. So super easy, guys. Uh, don't make it harder than it has to be. If you want to use the start motor command, that's fine. Just make sure you use the right syntax and you're using it correctly. But really, this is it. Go forward, go backward. Go forward, go backward. Go forward, go backward. And for a different amount of time, okay? So this is how you can complete the basketball drills uh, in uh, virtual worlds. Okay, I hope it works out for you.